what's up guys today we're going to take a look at this one floor scale Heath Ledger Joker I've made the decision that I really want to focus on one floor scales in my collection as you can see I got the Myers there and I only have one other hot toy one floor scale and that's Batman but my buddy is uh, selling me the Dark Knight version and then I got Vader on pre-order I got Spider-Man yeah, this box is really really nice man um there is some damages like right there but I mean I don't collect for the box I do like this barcode uh, right here you can see all the people responsible for making this they put it in a really cool font so that's really awesome. You can pause it, take a look. My favorite, obviously, JC Hong. Uh, sides of the box, amazing. I mean, Hot Toys just did a really, this is a really cool collectible box and I love his face. So this is the exclusive. And this is not gonna be a review, guys. This is just gonna kind of be like an overview, my thoughts. Cool detail, real quick, on the inside. Right before you open it, it says, do you want to know why I use a knife? Guns are too quick. Uh, it's a nice touch. A Joker. Joker card. You seem to see a lot of that Joker card in the movie. One four scale collectible figure. Okay. Suspense is coming. I gotta get over. Alright guys, so you get 15 sets of hands total. And what I do want to point out is that the hands... Uh, the ungloved hands, they are nice detail. However, unlike the uh, DX11, you're not going to get like the paint smear or the makeup on the hands. But they do have great detail, as you can see right here. Um, for some reason, Hot Toys felt the need to mark all the cuticles. And at a glance, it looks good. Uh, but once you get right up on it, it's just <laughs> it's kind of goofy. And uh, I don't think that's something that they had to do. But as you can see from a distance, it does look good. And it is a nice touch. But I think that... You know, if they put that attention and effort towards, like, more vein detail or even uh, the paint smear and makeup on the hands, that it would be a lot better. Now, the gloved hands, they are great. Just like with the DX11, they're great detail. Um, you know, they, they really do look like gloves, you know. This looks like a leathery uh, material, even though it's just plastic. So, these are great, man. They, they really do look good. Uh, I like them. And you get a great array of them. You know, for every pose that you want to do, they basically gave you a hand to do it. Um, or they, you know, they get you as close as possible. So that's the main thing. And I definitely do not think that you'll be disappointed when it comes to the hands because you just get a great array. Whether you want to have the jacket on him, off him, what scene you want to do. Whether, uh, you know, he's in the GCPD or he's out on the streets terrorizing Gotham and messing with um, the crime families. So uh, these are great. So this was the highlight for me and something that I was really looking forward to when picking out this figure. You know, I mean, I I always had plans to get it, but this kind of just sealed the deal because look at everything that you get. So I'll start from the left and go to the right. You do get stacks of money. Now it's not double-sided, unfortunately, and it's only ones, which I don't know why they only did ones. I mean, it's cool. It's fine. It's whatever. But I wouldn't it make more sense to do like some hundreds? especially in quarter scale, um, but the detail on them is great and it's printed very nicely. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Now you get two stacks of Joker cards. Um, this stack is the blue stack. And then I didn't open that one yet. This stack is the brown stack. Now I, I took one card out of here to do with a pose that you'll see shortly. Um, but these, yeah, I mean, I remember a lot of these from the movie. Um, he shows a lot of them and then you just see like especially that one you see a bunch of these within the movie so and I believe that's the symbol that they had on the box for the uh, DX11 you get his pencil pencil is great detail and um, it actually it actually writes here let me take this now it's it, like you know it's it's not great but let me open up to a page real quick all right You see that so it actually 
it somewhat writes and that's just really cool i thought that was really dope um i just kind of took it out and i was like oh let me see if i can get this thing to write and i could uh the detail is great man it looks like an actual pencil i know the one six scale one it was kind of like i don't know it didn't have the greatest like uh detail but with one four scale you could do a lot more now you get the pipe that he beats the shit out of batman with and this was really cool because um this is something awesome for joker to have in his hands and to hold i hope all this is focusing for you guys the detail on this is great it would have been better if it was like metal um but they didn't do that and uh you know that's kind of a theme that follows uh, a lot with this figure you know they didn't use any die cast parts for these weapons except this guy right here this in fact is a die cast knife and it's cool man it's pretty pointy uh you could definitely cut yourself with that so if you're getting this be careful but to prove to you that it is in fact metal it is okay see right there so it's metal it's a little switch blade and uh the function on it does work pretty well um you know, I mean, you're not, yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's one four scale blade. So this is really cool. And this is the knife that was kind of like, uh, you know, he used the most throughout the movie. Now, this is what I wish they would have uh, really used die cast parts on, but they didn't. However, you still get the uh, removable clip with the bullet, as you can see right there. Great paint, uh, paint detail on that. The bullet looks great. This extends... And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's basically the same thing that was in the DX11, just scaled up to 1.4 scale. So that's great. It's like a little miniature gun. It looks great. It really does, even though it's not die cast. All right, so you get a shotgun, and this is one thing that, see, I didn't have the DX11. I kitbashed my Joker, and then I used the DX11 sculpt, and I rooted the hair. Um, so I didn't have all these accessories, and that's one thing I really, really wanted, um when getting this this is basically you know that's kind of what sealed the deal i mean going with the one four scale so uh yeah here's the shotgun as you can see that works it would have been cool if they gave you like some shotgun shells i'm really sorry that this is not focusing the greatest guys i apologize um this is his little uh i don't know what do you call this this is the detonator for the end of the movie that he's holding and uh, the detail on this is great. They even included a little keychain ring for the key. Um, man, this is awesome. I don't think, yeah, this key doesn't move. No, it doesn't move, and that's okay. I, I, I wouldn't really expect it to. Um, this looks exactly like electrical tape going around these wires. I mean, the, you know, to show you this on video, it's just, it just doesn't really do it any justice. I mean, I know it, it looks good but it's just not doing it um, the justice that it deserves. All right, so here's his revolver. Now, this did not come with the DX11, uh, but it does come with the 1-4 scale. So the hammer moves, all right? This pops out right here. As you can see, all the bullets. And yes, you can move that. I'm sorry, you can remove that. So that's a nice touch. Um, I wouldn't ever really remove it, but uh, this is great. This is great. I believe this is what he was holding to Rachel's head. And it says, let her go. Oh, that's a poor choice of words. <laughs> Throws her out of that uh, window. All right, you get his Glock 17 right here, extended mag. Uh, I was disappointed with this, man. With my Joker, I had a, it was like a third party um Glock 17 that I that I actually got and then I just put uh, basically like some uh, sticky tack um, in the butt of the gun and it extended the clip out and it looked exactly like the one from the movie um, so I was hoping that the detail would be uh, on this like the Glock uh, logos and everything which it, it's not and I guess that's fine I don't really ever plan on uh, posing him with this but it is a great touch it, it's it's nice to have man you can never complain about having uh, you know accessories like i rather have it than not have it so yeah definitely cool uh obviously you can remove the mag and then you got the bullet right there i will say that uh the detail on these bullets on these one four scales are uh very very impressive i like it I like it a lot and then last but certainly not least 
you get his mask. Now the detail on this thing is amazing. If you compare it to the screen used one, it's like identical, man. Hot Toys really went all out on this thing. All the scuffs, the paint rub, everything. Dude, they, they duplicated it on this mask. Like, it's literally like the screen used mask just scaled down. And it looks great. Now you can't put this on his head. Um, but you could put it on another figure set, or if you wanted to get your get bash yourself a uh, one fourth um, bank robber Joker, I don't know where you would get the uh, you know the tailoring or anything or the um, the clothing, but technically you could if you were able to get your hands on a uh, one fourth scale bank robber Joker set. This would be a great mask for it. Yeah, it looks great. It really does, man. I was ecstatic to get this. I'm definitely going to display this on the base, so this is something, once you get yours, if, if you're getting this figure, you're going to be blown away when you have this in your hands. It's just, just you know, videos, pictures, doesn't do it justice. We're going to do a quick comparison. I've already filmed this three times. Here's the gist of it. All the way to the left, this is the MMS head sculpt, the first ever head sculpt that Hot Toys ever did of Heath Ledger Joker. In the middle, you have... The DX11 sculpt. Now, the reason that it has no hair and it's sanded down is because I'm rerouting this uh, for a friend. I originally rooted his head sculpt, and now my techniques have advanced greatly. So he asked me to redo it, and you know he's a great guy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for him. So that's the only DX11 uh, sculpt I have on hand. If I had one that still had hair and everything, I would compare that, but I don't. Uh, and then to the right, we have the one four scale. Now, I chose this head sculpt because it's already off the figure. I didn't want to take the head sculpt that's on him right now and take it off and mess with that. Uh, it's just a lot of work. I, I don't want to do that. Plus, this is the same exact sculpt, just half of his face isn't painted. And there's some smearing uh, above the right eye or to your left eye. Yeah, guys, Um, you know, I've compared the scarring. Like, if you move the heads to the left here, it's it's equal man like the scarring seems a little more present on the dx11 than it does here but what we have to take into consideration is that the dx11 also has an expression on his face where the one four scale it's a blank expression him he's kind of uh raising uh that side of his mouth so yeah um but nonetheless, man, I still think that the, the better sculpt here would be the, the DX11. However, the 1-4 scale, it's no chump. It's just lacking uh, emotion. You know, it's emotionless. Uh, they, they didn't give him any emotion. At least with the painted one, um, he kind of has, I don't know, it's still just like kind of a blank expression. Kind of just looking like, all right, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's kind of what he looks like. Like, he's just ready to attack. Um, but... If you look to the left, right here, okay, all the way to the left, this guy right here, look at where they've come from, man. I mean, so many people are complaining about this head sculpt. All the way to the right, look where they come from. The, the, this is what they had originally. And I remember seeing this on Sideshow and photos on, on Google when, you know, I couldn't afford these when I'd just seen... Um, the movie and thinking oh my god that looks amazing like these look so realistic i want them and, and like dude it's kind of a joke now looking back at it because look at where the where, where they're at now you know what i mean like even this being a few years old like this stands the test of time this sculpt is amazing wherever you point the eyes you can you can make him look like he uh, there's a million different expressions on his face just by moving the eyes. And that's a great feature. Like, you know, th this head sculpt was ahead of its time and it, it's it's still amazing. The one four scale is, it's no chump, dude. It really is, it's no chump. It has an amazing presence. It looks great. The eyes look great. Uh, but again, this is all just my opinion. So there you go. That's a little head sculpt comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.
come like this, pose like this. I, 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 I'm speechless. I mean, so many people, like especially on the Facebook groups, I had a guy in One Six Republic tell me that this was the worst painted head sculpt ever for Heath Ledger Joker. Um, and I, and then his reasoning for it says, um, well, I had the Enter Bay one. I'm sorry that you wasted your money. I mean, I gotta disagree with you. I mean, the Enter Bay one, I have to say the Enter Bay coat, um, really, I, I want to order the Enter Bay coat for this figure because it's, I mean, it's spot on. But when we're comparing head sculpts, look at this. I mean, the way that the, the, the light is catching the eyes, it just looks so elegant, man. I mean, it really livens this figure up. In this part of the movie, when he's moving forward towards Batman, yelling, hit me, hit me, I want you to do it, I want you to do it, hit me. I mean, th dude, th this captures that scene damn near perfectly. Sadie, can you stop moving so much? Um, It's beautiful, man. And I gotta say, different poses that I get this guy in, um, um, I mean, it just blows me away that the, the resemblance that it has. Um, you know, it, it really is a thing of beauty. And you have to have this thing in hand. I mean, photos, uh, videos, even, they just don't do it justice, man. You gotta have this thing in hand, play with it, experience for yourself. Because um, it, it truly is a work of art. And Hot Toys, I think, knocked it out of the park. Now, I wish that there was a purse system. We all wish there was a purse system, but there's just not. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I still want it. You know what I mean? Um, my my one six scale Joker was a kit bash. I bought the Hot Toys clothing. Um, I bought a Fire Toys Joker for the body, and I kit bash myself a DX eleven. I used a DX eleven sculpt. I, I rooted the hair, and I loved it. It was it was a beautiful piece. Um, but I wanted something that was straight from Hot Toys because I'm such a big fan of theirs. And I have to say, man, I sold my DX twelve. And my Kit Bash Joker with the custom rude hair head sculpt and painted. And uh, I'm happy I did, dude, because it, it, it's poses like this in this very moment that, that makes me love uh, this figure. Obviously, there's downfalls of it. There's, there's gripes. Um, but for me, and this is just me, the positives outweigh the negatives when it comes to, to this figure. And... Uh, you know, I'm the kind of person that I'll study other people's videos. I must have watched every single Dean Knight video on this uh, for a couple weeks straight. Just just back to back to back. And then I made my decision that, yeah, I want to upgrade my collection to 1-4 scale figures if I can. Especially the Dark Knight uh, figures. And uh, I, I definitely had to have this. So if we're comparing Enter Bay to that, I don't have the Enter Bay one in hand. Uh, the sculpt's decent on that. I think the nose is a little too big on the Enter Bay one. Um, but I don't think that it beats this, man, from, from photos. But then again, you know, it's hard to justify a figure in photos or videos because it's, it, cameras just do not capture all the details that are in 1.6 and 1.4 scale figures, especially from Hot Toys. So at the end of the movie, he looks over at Batman, coming to their final confrontation. He's got that metal pipe in his left hand, knife in the right, and he just goes over there, he sticks the dogs on him, and he whoops his ass with that metal pipe. Uh, that's what this pose is inspired by, and I think that it looks freaking amazing. This whole figure, I think, looks amazing, man. I, like I said, I got the people on the forums talking shit about it, saying that it's the worst painted head sculpt ever. I think they're delusional. Especially when you're comparing it to the Enter Bay one, but I, I gotta stop talking about that. Here's my final thoughts on this figure. Um, I made when I got the one fourth Batman, actually, I got a one fourth NECA Ninja Turtle, and I was like, Oh wow, this is this has an amazing presence, right? Then I got the one fourth scale Batman Begins figure from Hot Toys, then I got a one fourth scale Michael Myers. And the, the more I looked into one fourth scale figures, I really like the presence of them. They're so big and brooding. I decided, man, I'd really like to have one fourth scale figures. Now, when I was trying to get a Heath Ledger Joker for my collection, um, 
I couldn't find one for less than $800. And when I say that, I mean brand new, right? Uh, Heath Ledger is such a special character to me. It brings back so many memories of me and my dad. You know, my dad uh, unfortunately passed away back in 2012. Um, I remember being in Tennessee with my dad, visiting my grandma, and this movie came out and I took myself and my little cousin. And um, the opening part, when you, see, when, you, when you see Joker in his full form, going into that meeting with the mob bosses and he does uh, the magic trick. Dude, it blew me away. From that moment, like I knew, like th this was gonna be something that I never experienced before. And that's why this character is so special to me, man. Um, obviously there's gonna be uh, new interpretations of the character. We're coming up on Walking Phoenix's uh, Joker movie that comes out uh, in a few days here. And I'm very excited to see that. Uh, but getting back to this, I needed to have a Joker that was in mint condition. So I, I decided to make my own. I got a Fire Toys, basically third party recasted uh, figure. Um, it was the tailoring on the clothes and everything was the closest and identical to the Hot Toys Joker uh, 2.0 uh, that I could find. So I went with that and then I bought a uh, DX11 sculpt online. I rehaired it, I repainted it, and it was it was my little masterpiece. I loved it. But uh, I, you know, I'm such a fan of Hot Toys. I, I watched their work for years before I could afford it. That I really wanted something from them. I wanted to have something that Hot Toys made in my collection. So then this was coming out, and uh, I had no plans on going to one fourth. You know, it is expensive uh, until I got those other. Uh, figures and I was like yeah man I, I would really enjoy I would really love to have this so uh, recently I decided I was like you know what I'm gonna sell my Batman my DX12 I'm gonna sell my Joker let me see if I can get an authentic DX11 I, I looked and again the prices just are skyrocketed and uh, I made the decision like you know what I want it for my Dark Knight collection I want it to be one fourth um, because it's such a special trilogy to me and um yeah, so should you should should you buy this? Is it worth it? Um, you know, if you have a DX11 and you're content with one six scale figures for your Dark Knight collection, I don't think so. Um, I I think the DX11 is damn near perfect. It comes with amazing accessories. However, so does this. This comes with everything the DX11 has besides the table and chairs and the and the diorama background. Uh, it actually comes with more because you get the uh, grenades for his coat uh, and that didn't come with the DX-11. It came with the DX-01, was it? But not the DX-11. So yeah, I, I would say if the basis of your collection is 1-6 scale and you already have a mint inbox, you know, um, DX-11, then no, man, I, I wouldn't get this. You know, I would just stick with what you have. But if you want to upgrade, if you're interested in 1-4 scale figures, I'd say this is a must-have. It's it's extremely beautiful. Don't listen to people online. Don't listen to the people on Facebook. Um, sometimes I think people just say stuff like, it's like if, if, if somebody can't afford something, they're like, they trash it. You know, they, they say it's like the scum of the earth. And I just never really understood that, man. Like, you know, I can't afford Prime 1 statues, but there is no doubt in my mind that like, they are unique, they're amazing, and they're, they're beautiful pieces. I would never talk them down simply because I can't afford them, but that's a trend that I see a lot of collectors following in today's age, and it, it's sad because uh, it's essentially fake news. Um, just because you can't get something or you're not going to buy it doesn't make it trash. So that's my final thoughts, man. I, I really love this. I would recommend going over to Dean Knight's uh, channel and um, checking out all his videos that he did on this because he compared this to the DX11 and he did an amazing job. Um, so yeah, that's that's my final thoughts, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm new to, 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 I guess, reviews. I don't really like calling it a review. It's just my thoughts. And, uh, you know, it's more of like a, you know, hot toys and chill moment, you know, me getting a figure and uh, kicking it with you guys and, and talking about it. That's, that's the type of content I love watching that I prefer. So 
that's the content that I strive to make. I hope you guys enjoy it. So anyways, guys, my name is Dan. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. At 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a Hot Toys figure. And I do plan on making a lot more content. It's just I do work 24-7. So I'm trying to find a balance and get this out to you guys as quick as I can. Thank you for watching. God bless. Stay safe out there. And until next time, peace.